Orange. What would be on your table if you were told that for the next 24 hours you could only eat orange foods? Aside from lots and lots of oranges, of course. <laughs> orange, la orange, la rancha. Today we are only going to be eating orange food for 24 hours. For the whole day, I will not be touching foods of other color, only the orange ones. <sighs> By the end of the day, I may be suffering toxicity from too much vitamin A, but we will take that risk. <laughs> Can I manage this for a full 24 hours? Let's find out. Okay, it is 9 a.m. It is breakfast time. Let's see what is on our very monochromatic menu. We're going to be starting with a couple of tangerines, you know, just for health. <laughs> Um, it looks like it's going to be orange and it had an orange lid. It might not be orange, but we'll uh, we'll find out soon. <laughs> and the last orange food we're going to add to our plate is one of these pumpkin spice muffins. Now these are a Maverick baking recipe from a couple of years ago. Very fitting considering at the moment it is late September. And even though you guys might be seeing this in October, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> these are basically just kind of nice moist muffins full of um, pumpkin puree, that American style pumpkin puree. It's actually really, really handy. I don't know why it's not more widely available here. They're made with that. There's some pumpkin seeds on top and a bit of a vanilla drizzle just to jazz it up. So this is our very orange breakfast. Let's, let's get into it. The muffins are really good, by the way. They're they're nothing kind of special, and I know they're a bit of a funky looking color, obviously because of the pumpkin and some of the spices. But they're just they're just nice. They're just chill. They're cozy. They're autumnal. The pumpkin seeds are nice on top. They're just yeah, very decent breakfast. So it turns out the yogurt I hope is orange is very much white. So that's gonna be off limits, sadly. As breakfasts go, that one was very enjoyable actually and definitely less strange than the red food challenge breakfast was. I must say I was a little bit disappointed I couldn't eat that yogurt because it looked like it was going to be really tasty. But um, yes, it wasn't orange and even though I know that some YouTubers will do this challenge and only eat kind of hyper processed orange foods or they'll just eat foods that come in orange packaging, we're, we're not doing that. We're trying to we're trying to undertake this challenge properly. <laughs> Honestly though, by the end of the day, I just, <laughs> I can't shake the thought of the, this thing people used to talk about at school that drinking too much Sunny D, <laughs> I went to school in the early noughties, can you tell? <laughs> the drinking too much Sunny D would turn your skin orange. I'm kind of worried I'm going to have that sort of fake tan glow by 8 p.m. tonight. <laughs> Lads, it is one o'clock-ish, um, so I think it's about time we had some, lunch very orange lunch let's go do that today now is the time of lunch by the way ignoring the mess take just a few seconds to admire these trousers thank you anyway today's lunch in the interest of both health and you know just taste preferences is going to be some carrot and coriander soup now i know this isn't strictly cooking but you know i I made some muffins before 9 a.m. this morning, so I feel like you can't really judge me that much. <laughs> Please enjoy this incredibly unsexy shot of soup falling into a pan. <laughs> so it might seem like a little bit of a boring choice, but honestly, I'm, I'm a big fan of soup. It is getting towards kind of soup weather here in the UK. Plus, I don't really have time to cook anything at the moment because I do have quite a busy day. There will be some more cooking later. And yeah, I did make some muffins this morning for you guys, you know. I'm not treating you too terribly. I am also going to be having another orange food with my soup. Sadly, orange bread isn't much of a thing, but you know, God came down on the fourth day and gave us watsits, so. <laughs> I am not even a particularly big fan of cheesy watsits, but you know what, for the orange vibes and for for some flavor and texture contrast, here we are. Just look at that presentation. <laughs> Lunch is served. We have our big old bag of Watsits, which honestly, I actually, I'm enjoying more than I expected. And we have a big old bowl of carrot and coriander soup and maybe another muffin later, who knows. Nice and orangey, let's go. Honestly, at the moment, I kind of feel like 
the, this orange food challenge, much like the red one will be one of the kind of easier color options. Problem of course is that while it's very easy to get fruit and vegetables and a good dose of processed rubbish as well, because we all need some, this one is pretty hard to get your protein in, I think. Um, and many fats, to be honest, if they're not in the form of cheese dusted crisp. Mm. But I definitely think as far as foods go, orange is one of the easier colors. As always, let me know which color you would like to see next in the comments below. We have them all lined up, pretty much. <laughs> all of your kind of main colors, and let me tell you, some of them are looking very challenging. <laughs> but we will see. Anyway, I'm gonna go eat my lunch and I will see you guys again very soon. Okay, it is officially dinner time, work is done for the day, but what is our third monochromatic meal going to be? I found some quite tasty, posh looking pasta sauce in Sainsbury's. So it's yet more kind of orange root vegetables. God knows how my body is going to react to them all, but here we are. So this is a butternut and squash and sage sauce. I'm gonna stir this through some gnocchi, you know? I live with an Italian, we've gotta keep him happy every now and again. Um, because Parmesan is a bit too white and not quite orange enough for today's challenge, we're using some proper old school, <laughs> bright orange Scottish mild cheddar. This is definitely not going to have the same effect, but I feel like I need some kind of protein in my day. So here comes the cheese. <laughs> It smells okay. Let's get this in our pan. Ooh, oh she thick. Oh she very thick. is going to be just about it for today's 24 hour orange food challenge. I'm probably going to round off my evening with another little pumpkin spice muffin because they're nice. <laughs> if you have enjoyed today's video, do not forget to slap a big thumbs up on that like button. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you're new here. And of course, let me know which color you would like to see me challenge myself with next. I'm thinking yellow, but let me know if you have any better ideas. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next one. Mm -hmm.